And we are live. Alright, magandang araw sa'yo. Kabaro ka mate ka right, Phil. My name is Phil, Philip Rendada. And welcome sa Mano Tycoon where we discuss the psychological, biblical, relational, and financial aspects ng buhay buhay. Now, sa ating live stream ngayong uh, umagang ito, okay, I think alam na ninyo kung saan tayo papunta. Okay? I think alam na ninyo sa Men of the Red Pill and mga matatagal ko ng subscribers, I think alam nyo na kung saan tayo patungo. Okay? Backtrack tayo a little bit. Ta, nung uh, unang beses po ako nag-upload sa Men of Tycoon, somewhere around August 2020. Okay? And sinabi ko na po, right from the get-go, na ang isang lalaki, men care about a woman's past, Women care about a man's future. Okay? Ito po, itong part na ito. Okay? Kapag ka ang isang lalaki, you failed on recognizing yung past na isang babae, maapektuhan ka na ito in the future. Okay? Ito po, so far, sinabi ko rin po before, na pag ang isang babae ay uh, nasa social media all day long, Diba? Wala pong masama if a female use social media. Unless, diba, ito lang ha, ang, ang exemption lang to a female is you're using yung uh, social media mo for financial business or spiritual business. You promote your church, diba, you use that to have uh, Bible study, diba, to attract more people na mag-join ng inyong uh, Bible study group. Yan, yeah, those are the exemptions. Pero pag ang isang babae, you're using social media to get attention validation, just like this, there's a very high chance po, high chance, na hindi ka na virgin. Remember, balikan niyo yung una kong sinabi. Men care about a woman's past. Okay? Ito po yung failure ni Mr. Uh, Cheese Escudero. Hindi niya na-assess na maayos si uh, Heart Evangelista. Ayan po, sinulat ni ano, ito, sinulat ito ni uh, Dana Cruz from uh, Inquirer. Heart Evangelista admits having one night stand in past. Naging kami eventually. Okay? Meron pa siya dito mga ano na nakadate. Ito po sabi niya dito. Heart Evangelista got candid about her past sex life. Sa mga babae, it's, oh yeah, it's all fun games lang. Yes. But to us men, this is repulsive. Okay? Admitting that she had experience having one night stands, may S, plural, and dating the people she had them with. Hmm. Oh, ito yung mga gusto na namin mga babae sa feminism, yes. A roller coaster of emotions. Ah. The actress talked about this with her staff during their trip to Balasin. By the way, sinulat pala ito May 18, 2022 by Dana Cruz ng Inquirer. Okay? The actress talked about This with her staff during the trip to Balasin as seen on her YouTube vlog last Monday, May 16th. Evangelista and her staff went to Balasin for a vacation and they played Never Have I Ever, a game wherein someone says an activity and those who have experienced it take a drink. When asked, tinanong siya, whether they had a one-night stand, Evangelista thought for a while before taking a sip of her drink. I guess, eto na, linya niya, I guess that was considered a one-night stand, Evangelista said uh, again us men we care about a woman's past okay we care about a woman's past pag nalaman mo na may iba ng lalaking na unang tumuhog sa iyong girlfriend or wife of course masasaktan kami we don't want that kaya nga most women eh, they're not gonna be honest they're not gonna be honest with their past sexual life okay if you ask them what's your body count They're not gonna say the whole truth. But there are signs. Ano yung mga signs na ang isang babae merong promiscuous past? Anong signs kapag ka ang babae hindi na virgin? Ano yon? Number one, okay lang sa babae to discuss topics like this about sex. Wala man lang shyness. Number two, okay lang sa kanya na magpakita ng katawan sa social media. Okay lang yung mga magpakyut, magpasexy, hindi na virgin yan. Bakit? Ito ah, because nung naiskuran siya nung alpha, she thinks na ay, kaya ako iniskuran nung alpha kasi sexy ako, maganda katawan ko. So I'm gonna showcase my body even more sa social media. Ganyan po ang utak ng mga babaeng hindi na virgin. 
most guys, and I believe when saying this, 90% of the guys, of the men of the red pill, they want a shy and virgin chick. Traditional woman, in other words. Uh, now, eto po. Okay? Kayo pong mga babae, di ba? Gusto ninyo ng lalaking magmamahal sa inyo, provide and protect for you. To some extent, tama? Basically, a traditional man. Here's the thing. You cannot be a tra you cannot want a traditional man if you are not a traditional woman. Tama? Ito yung nakakatakot ngayon. Okay? A member of the actress team then asked her why she considers it a one night stand. Naging kami eventually. Naging kami eventually. Lahat ng naka one night stand ko naging kami. So again, i-google nyo na lang po kung sino-sino yung mga naging ex-boyfriend ni Heart Evangelista. It doesn't matter their names. Okay, hindi na po importante kung sino-sino yung mga taong yon. What matters is, eto, okay lang sa'yo na, alam mo yon na i-share yung mga ganyan details. So, ibig sabihin, hindi ka na virgin. Naiskurang ka na. Okay? And then you want a man, traditional man, to love you and protect you? That's never gonna happen, sweetie. You're gonna stay longer in the shelf. Okay? You're gonna be incapable of pairing bond. Which, eto ah, I would explain pa further in another live stream. Okay? You're incapable of pairing bond. Uh, pansin ninyo, uh, best example nito. Alam niyo yung Fresh and Fit podcast? Uh, ako, I, I watch them eh, as well eh. Okay? And iba pang mga podcast as well. May mga ini-interview sila doon ng mga women na may uh, casual sex encounters or maybe sabi natin mga dating porn stars, adult uh, entertainers. Okay? Uh, They're incapable of pairing bond. Kasi nasanay sila sa toxicity, hindi sila nasanay sa nice, niceness. Which I would explain pa on another video. Okay? Yan po yung nangyayari. Hindi nasanay si Heart Evangelista sa niceness. Okay? Nasanay siya sa mga toxic encounters. One night stand is considered a toxic encounter. She explained, we got together eventually. Everyone I had one night stand with, I ended up dating. According to Miriam Webster, a one-night stand is a sexual encounter limited to a single occasion. Holy crap. Ayan o, yung mga ganito. Pag ang isang babae, keep willing siya to show her body on social media, well, she's not your property mate. She's a public property. If you are a guy and you have a chick, to some extent, property mo yung babae. Diba? I cannot have responsibility on you if I don't have authority. You cannot have responsibility without me having authority. Hindi pwedeng ganon. But feminism, feminism would say, hindi, Philip, hindi. Hayaan mo na gawin ng babae ang gusto niya. Diba? Ganon, diba? Hayaan mo yung babae na mag, mag, magsuot ng maiksing damit. Hayaan mo yung babae na magsuot ng kahit nakahubot-tubad na halos. Hayaan mo siya magpost ng mga sexy pictures sa social media. Hayaan mo siya. It's, it's her freedom. It's her choice. That's what the feminism uh, activists would say. But it's wrong. You're not acting like a traditional woman. And yet, you would, you would want a traditional man. Diba? O okay lang. Okay lang na magkaroon ng standards and freedom ang females. Pero tayo mga lalaki? Diba? Sa red pill, ayaw, hindi tayo pwedeng magkaroon ng ano, ng uh, standards with women. And when we establish standards, anong gagawin? They're gonna attack you. Uh, merong ano, merong nga... Uh, Naka nakakalimutan ko yung apelyido was it Gino Tenorio. Paki-correct po ako sa ano ha, sa comment section as a replay or live. Ang, ang name niya is Gino Tenorio. Okay, and meron yung kanyang ano, yung kanyang uh, TikTok na content, yung vlogs niya, medyo similar din sa akin. Oh, uh, medyo medyo sim yun yung medyo nagustuhan ko sa kanya, medyo similar yung ano niya, yung may may konting ano biblical red pill. Yun yung nagustuhan ko sa kanya. Okay, paki-correct ako. Was it Tenorio, Gino Tenorio? I, I, I forgot the surname. Eh. Okay, but sa Gino yung first name eh. Ang downside lang sa TikTok, sa TikTok siya mas dominant eh. Ang downside lang sa kanya is sa TikTok. Kasi madaling ma-out of context ke. Eh. Kaya ako, dinilit ko yung sa akin and nag-choose ako sa YouTube. Oo, hindi ako ano ma-out of context kasi long form eh. Okay? And the feminists have short attention span. They cannot easily watch yung mga ganitong klaseng videos. 8 minute, 9 minute. Gusto nila, gusto nila yung mga madalian lang. Kaya madali ka ma-out of context. Yun yung downside sa TikTok. Yun lang yung downside kay, ano, kay Mr. Gino. Tenorio. Okay yung content niya eh. Ang, ang downside lang na out of context siya eh. Maganda yung turo niya kasi may, may ano, it's not perfect. Eh, hindi, hindi perfect yung turo niya. But, may ano siya, may concept din siya ng traditionalism. Nakikip ito. 
Ito oh. To some extent. Yun yung, yun yung naganda, naganda na ako sa kanya. Oh, eto rin yun, no? Mm. Madaming babae ngayon ang gusto ng traditional man, but they're not traditional women. No. Oh. Tuloy. Aside from her sex life, Evangelista opened up on checking a partner's messages. She, oh, wait, I'm more insecure. She also made a joke when the subject of dating someone 10 years older than her, si Chis Escudero to, than her, was brought up during the game. Pinakasalan ko pa nga eh, she equipped. I even married him. Evangelista is married to Sorsogon Governor Francis. Ito ah, Chis Escudero is among the top 12 candidates in the recent senatorial race. During her vacation with her team, Evangelista floated her bikini body by wearing a luxury swimsuit at the beach, earning praise from fans, earning from simps. Okay? And beta males, celebrities. Yan, eto yan. Oh. E, trenta mahigit na to eh. Kaya your, her ego is still pop. Ano pa? Okay pa. Kasi may mga social media, ano eh. Simps eh. Oh. Ito yung nakakatakot. Women would date the alpha and settle down for the beta. Si Chis Escudero, is a great guy, smart guy, smart, uh, wise, in my opinion. Okay, pero really, you settle down for this? Really? Okay lang, okay lang sa'yo na ang katawan ng uh, spouse mo, yung babae, she's flaunting it on social media? No, Philip, hindi naman mananakaw sa kanya. Then masyado ko yung overconfident. Ito ah, this is a message to all men. Okay lang sa'yo na pinaflaunt yung uh, katawan ng babae. Yung girlfriend mo o yung wife mo, okay lang sa kanya na pinaflaunt yung katawan niya on social media? You're, masyado kang confident sa sarili mo, Brad. Okay? She's not your property. She's public property. Yeah. Uh, They would date the alpha, they would engage in, sabihin na lang natin na, ayan no, one night stands. Okay? She would engage with one night stands. Oh. With the alphas. And then settle down, settle down for the betas, yung mabait. Ngayon, ang downside, hindi naman siya, in, hindi naman siya capable of pair bonding, which I would explain in a next live stream. Okay? So again, Not all women do this, by the way. Let me correct, let me uh, just uh, give you the context here. Not all women do this. Okay? Because may mga babae na even though semi-alpha ka pa lang, yung pa-establish ka pa lang sa karir mo, nakikita niya yung, ano eh, yung potential mo eh. She would support you. May mga ganyang case eh. Okay? I, I know plenty of guys na, alam mo yun, uh, kasi may tatong kasi categorization yan. Alpha, semi-alpha, and beta. Okay? Alpha, semi-alpha, and beta. Okay, the alpha, okay, the well-established guy, the successful business owner, the, uh, uh, sabihin na lang natin na uh, successful sa career. Okay, yung number two, semi-alpha, ito yung mga college students pa lang or nagtatrabaho pa lang, pa-establish pa lang yung career. Pero nakikita mo na nagsisikap sila. The chick would support her. Uh, the, the, the chick would support him. Alam mo yun, nakasupporta sa kanya. Okay, the beta is a simp, regardless of your money, status, or looks. Okay? Ayan no, tignan nyo. She would date the alpha. Pag naiskura na siya, she would settle down for the beta. Not all women do this, but a lot of women are. Okay? So again, guys, be watchful. And I would, may isa pa tayong live stream about din sa uh, kay Miss Heart Evangelista. Okay? So, I'm ending my live stream here. Maraming salamat sa panonood. And uh, be happy, be healthy. And most importantly, to God be all the glory. May isa pa tayong live stream. Okay? Ingat tayo. Ingat tayong lahat. Okay?